A secret hideaway in the mall, using your iPod to whiten your teeth, and inside New York's high-tech cabs. Drop that flag, the meter's running, the queue starts right now. Hey there, what's going on? Hope you're having a great day. I'm Rich DeMuro with CNET TV, reporting to you from our studios in New York City. Let's get you started with your must-click moment. The mall has it all. So maybe that's why one guy decided to build an apartment inside. According to his blog, the idea started in 2003. The 750 square foot apartment, previously a construction storage space. The mall apartment was livable, but didn't have, how do you say, facilities. Unfortunately, the builder was eventually apprehended before completing his project. You know, there are a lot of iPod accessories out there, but only one can help you whiten your teeth. A product called Rock My Teeth consists of a custom cable with earphones and a whitening tray. Plug it into your iPod, stick the tray in your mouth, and turn up the volume. According to the site, the louder the music to your teeth, the more whitening energy you release. The product comes from the Institute for the Advancement of Music Science and Professor Bocelli. Hmm, haven't heard of him. Here in New York City, there's a lot of talk about the resistance of cabbies to new GPS systems and credit card readers. Well, all I have to say is one ride in these new high-tech cabs and suddenly nothing else is good enough. The system, even better than you'd expect, it consists of a backseat mounted touch video screen that shows local news clips. There's also a GPS map that shows where you are in real time in case your cabbie goes all bone collector on you. Then there's instant access to various news and information. The credit card reader is quick and definitely makes for bigger tips. Cabbies are opposed to the system because they think it's tracking them. Of course, not all are opposed. Moving through the queue, if you know someone who owns a Roomba, chances are they're really attached to the little sucker. According to a study by a Georgia Tech professor, Roomba owners pretty much treat the robotic devices like pets. They give them names and even rearrange their furniture to accommodate their tracks. Roomba sold 2 million of the bots. The study suggests the public is ready to welcome even more robots into the home. And also, men get excited about vacuuming because of the Roomba. How many times have you tripped over a cable? I know I'm always catching one in my chair leg, but now there's no need to worry about killing your equipment. For the consumer that demands protection for their connection, there's the new breakaway cable from Replug. It connects your headphones to an audio device, transforming any jack into a breakaway connection. A quick tug on the Replug and the cable automatically detaches, saving you and your device from a world of pain. Look for the replug in store soon. It only needs to save your butt once to be well worth it. I'm Rich Samiro with CNET TV. Don't say I didn't tell you so. Bye bye.